I can't believe the school system. Again, they're letting the kids down. Oh, man, we gotta, we, first of all, we gotta vote for who's on the board, and we gotta get to the school board. This can't continue. Okay. Hey, this is Channel's Channel. Hello, today we have Emmanuel Fiddlehorn, a graduate from Western International High School. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine, fine. Um, so today I'm going to ask you some questions. Um, my first question is, how is your school? Like, what is your experience in your school? I have had many completely different experiences at my school. From the moment I walked in to the moment I walked out, I would say I've had the most amazing times of my life and I've also had some of the biggest disappointments of my life. I would say all around the Western has been one of the most amazing experiences of my life and one I will always be grateful for. Yeah. Awesome. Can you go deeper onto the disappointments in your life? Well, there were mostly disappointments in the school. school. It was very hard for me at first going to that school. It was I wouldn't say run down, but it was not in the best condition. Mm -hmm. Barely had any books, and if we did, they were falling apart. There was lack of control, lack of discipline. There was pretty much just lack of, of I think, of the staff on their part. And I think they just didn't prepare us. I wouldn't say all of them didn't prepare us, but I would say at least the vast majority of them really did nothing for me my entire time in high school. Um, last question. As an individual, can you say that you are prepared for college? I can say that me, as a person, I know I will be prepared for college, but I think had I let Western swallow me and done whatever it did to countless others, I would not have been prepared for college. And that is the end of our show. We will get back to you next week. Hey, what is educational justice? Educational justice is equality. Educational justice is a... Educational justice is the ability of everyone to get an education that works for them. Okay. Uh, to me, educational justice is about, um, specifically for our region, having equal access to a quality education. And so quality education means not just um, you know, having new textbooks, uh, but it means having good textbooks, accurate textbooks, um, like historical perspectives that reflect the community, uh, that community is engaged in the classroom, that we start breaking down the walls between schools and community, uh, that teachers also learn from students and students learn from each other, that teaching happens across, across generations. Um, educational justice also means being in a building that's physically safe. So, I'm Emmanuel Meza and I'm here at the Michigan Roundtable for Diversity and Inclusion. And we're about to go around and ask people about what their dream school is. We're here with Mohammed Rahman. So, Mohammed, what would you say your dream school is? My dream school? Well, um, I'd want a school that lets you learn what you want to learn. That they didn't, they didn't force their teachings onto you. So like, if you wanted to learn how to play the piano, you could learn. You didn't have to take so many BS classes that you really don't need to use in life. And even if you did take those classes, they'd actually show you how you could use them in life. Okay, well thank you for your time. Well, I'm here with Charles, another one of my co-workers from the Michigan Roundtable. What would your dream school be? Hello, my fellow Americans. My um, dream school would be one that was diverse and inclusive. And as far as the teaching subjects, I, I, I don't think that the only teaching subjects that matter are math, English, and reading. Although those are important, but there are other things that people are interested in, and I think that those should be highlighted as well. And schools that don't only focus on, oh, your grades must be like an A+, plus, that means that you're learning something, because that is not true at all. So I feel like what you actually learn and like your education-wise should be the main, main thing in a school. So yes, that's my dream school. Thank you for your time. And we're also here today with Zane. 
What would your dream school be? Well, my dream school would be, like Charles said, more diversity. <laughs> more, di more diversity. More books in school. We can actually take books home. More uh, teachers and better teaching skills. And yeah, and, like better school all together. So I think that's my dream school. Just gonna be. Did you know? I matter. You matter. We, we matter. matter. Oh. Education is advancement. Education is knowledge. Education is power. Woo! Education is learning about the world. The people. And about yourself. Education is key to success. We deserve better education. Yeah. We need love, care, and understanding. We can learn to love to learn. Let's rethink. Reimagine. And transform our schools! Because these are our schools. Not theirs. Wow. Say blah, 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 blah. What's that? Say blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Why'd you have a mic so close to my face? <laughs> What? Is it not working? Oh, God. We're trying to upload the camera. Why are you laughing? Mike, look at this. I'm doing this to everyone. Okay, say, nah. Huh? Nah. Nah. Come on. <laughs> nah, <No>, man. <laughs> Ain't cool. Sorry. All right, go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm recording. Oh man. Wait, I don't want to smile, so you can't you smile. Can, you can't smile. Can't it's recording right now. It's recording right now. You might as well say it. I matter. No, see! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. 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 That okay. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Teresa, this is what we did. I didn't do that. Proof, but I proof. I have proof. He is a freshman, and that uh, that's me. Come on, man. The cloud. The cloud. No, the key has. No, my name is Mo. It's Lotto and Joe. Yo. Go in the corner, yeah, go in the corner and stay there for 10 minutes. You're in time out. is about to come here Woo! to the city of Detroit. Are you excited? I'm excited.